Greetings, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we go about using Maltigo to perform a passive reconnaissance. Passive reconnaissance is where we use publicly available information to gather information about our potential target. The Maltigo Community Edition is the community version of Maltigo that is available for free after a quick online registration. Maltigo CE includes most of the same functionality as the commercial version. However, it does have some limitations. The main limitation with the community version is that the application cannot be used for commercial purposes. There is also a maximum number of entities that can be displayed at any given time in the community edition of Maltigo. Lastly, there is no export of the graph information as you have in the full commercial version of Maltigo. With Maltigo, we can find the relationships which people are linked to, including their social profile, mutual friends, companies that are related to the information gathered, and websites. The first time you start Maltigo, you'll want to go to Applications, you'll want to go to Information Gathering, and click on Maltigo. This places the Maltigo icon into the Quick Launch bar. Once Maltigo opens up, you'll want to go ahead and select the Maltigo CE, the free edition. Click on Run. If this is the first time that you have ran Maltigo, you'll have to register by clicking on the Register Here link. Clicking on the Register Here will take you out to the Internet where you can register an account so that you have access to the transforms. Scroll down the page until you come to the Register an Account window. Create your account and then you will be able to download and install all the transforms for Maltigo. Once you've registered your account, you'll be brought back to the Logon window for Maltigo. You can then type in your login information, solve the CAPTCHA, and then click Next. Once you've logged in, you'll be presented with the welcome screen for the Maltigo Community Edition. Go ahead and click Next. This will install or update your transforms. Once your transforms have been updated, you can click Next. You can choose to automatically send error reports or not, and then you can click Next. And you're now ready to begin your first passive reconnaissance with Maltigo. We're now ready to go ahead and click on Finish, and this brings up the Maltigo starting screen. Once you start Maltigo for the first time, you can go up to the top right, you can close out that first window. And in behind that window is this particular screen for Maltigo. And this is the screen we're going to be using. Over here in the right window pane, we have additional transform sets that you can install. Now some of these will require that you go out and register for an API key. But some of these are very useful. You can look through them and see if there's anything in here that you might be interested in as far as additional transforms. We can go back to our original graph page just by going up here to the menu bar and clicking on the plus sign, that brings back that original graph screen that we started with. Over here in the left window pane, we have our transforms, and this is where we can go in and we can start looking for particular information about somebody, such as an email address, phone numbers, aliases, documents, uh, a person. There's all kinds of things that you can look up on an individual or an entity, such as an organization. And it's all available over here inside of this left window pane. We're going to start off by looking at some domain information. So what we're going to do is over here in the left window pane, just scroll on down until you come to the domain, and just drag that on over here to your empty graph, just like that. Once we have the domain transform over inside of our graph, we can just double-click it, and now we can type in the name of the domain we wish to look up. For this demonstration, I've typed in cyberoffense.com, but it could be any domain name. It could be Microsoft, it could be Cisco, it could be IBM, it could be anybody. As you probably come to realize, we could use this application for nefarious purposes, but we don't want to do that. We don't want to use it for stalking individuals or trying to cause harm. What we want to use it for in this case is to find out about our own personal presence, because we may have some things out there that we don't want people to be able to gather about us. And so I've typed in cyberoffense.com. Now I should be able to get some information about myself, the owner of cyber, cyberoffense.com, and we'll just see how much information it does pull up. Once you have your domain name in place, 
you can just right click and from the list you can click on where it says all transforms if you click on that plus sign you'll see that all the different transforms or scripts that can be ran against the search so as you go through the list you can see that it can find information about your phone numbers it can find out information about your email addresses other domains files to persons to a phone number websites quick lookup it can do a lot of information gathering now to run all those transforms for the domain lookup I have used this double clicker over here and if I click on that it will begin the passive recon against cyberoffense.com so as the information is gathered and the nodes are brought in as information about my domain is gathered, you'll see that the graph starts to fill up rather quickly and I run out of space. By just using my left mouse button, I can click inside of the graph and then use my scroll bar to zoom in or zoom out. So there's a lot of information in here. You see I got some DNS records. And if I click on that, and you can go over here to the detail view, you can open up the relationship and see if there's anything uh, incoming. You can look at that. You can also look at some other information that might be available. I'm pretty boring as far as having anything going on with my domain name. It's real simple. It's just registered for business purposes only. So there's not a lot of information going on in here. But you could find out some things about uh, the relationships, which I don't have any, and the generator details and some other things. So the good news is I don't see my name being listed anywhere underneath the domain search and that's a good thing you can't find my phone number and that didn't show up you also didn't find my actual given name that's a good thing so i've done a pretty good job of making sure that my privacy is kept intact and that's another good use for maltigo let's go ahead and change direction and do some information gathering about a individual so we're going to look up a person and we're going to see what we can find out about that individual let's go ahead and start a new graph we're going to go up here to the plus sign we're going to open up a new graph now you'll see that we have two graphs and there's our new graph now we have both graphs here so i'm going to go over here to the second graph and i'm just going to drag person on over here and we can just type in anybody's name okay anybody name you want to type type into there you can type it in and we can do a search and see what information we can find out about that individual on the internet from the lab file i'm just going to type in shane watson and we're going to do a search for shane see what we can find out about him so this individual could be anybody it could be yourself it could be your spouse it could be your girlfriend it could be who whomever again you make sure that you think about what you're doing before you go out and you use this for the serious purposes i'm going to go ahead and just use this fictitious in individual called wayne Watson I'm going to right click and I'm going to do the all transforms again and I'm just going to click on that and go ahead and run that you want to open the service manager to sign it I don't want to look up Twitter so I don't have a Twitter account but if you have a Twitter account you can I'm going to say no so let's go ahead and let those transforms run for a couple of minutes and see what pops up again I have clicked inside of my graph window and I'm using my scroll bar to either bring it out or push it back in so I can see all the details all right so we see we got a lot of information here or we got some information of some entities that belong to Shane Watson these are different email addresses so if you want to know how to get a hold of somebody and you can't figure it out you could use Maltigo to go out there and get an email address on that individual so you see there's a lot of different things that we can use this for good bad or otherwise so that's going to conclude this short video presentation on how we go about using Maltigo. Again, this is the community edition, so it is limited, but it has most of the functionalities as a full version. If you have any questions or you have concerns, please do not hesitate to reach out and contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.